अगला सिम स्कूल टूडे वी विल बी कवरिंग चैप्टर नाइन दैट इज एरिया ऑफ पैरलोग्राम एंड एरिया ऑफ ट्रांगल्स सो स्टार्टिंग विद सेकेंड एक्सरसाइज दैट इज नाइन पॉइंट टू आर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन से इन फिगर ए बी सी डी इज द पैरलोग्राम ए ई पेंडिकुलर डी सी एंड सी एफ पेंडिकुलर टू ए डी If AB is equal to sixteen centimeter and AE is equal to eight centimeter and CF is equal to ten centimeter, we have to find AD. That is this. So the answer is area of parallelogram is equal to half into base into altitude. We all know this thing. So if DC is considered as base, so the area of ABCD will be half into DC into AE. And if AD is considered as base, then area of ABCD that is parallelogram will be half into AD into FC. Further joining both the equations, we will get AD as twelve point eight centimeter. Question number two says if EF, G, and H are the midpoints of the sides of a parallelogram that is ABCD, we have to show that arc EF, G, H is equal to half arc ABCD. So the answer is. AB is equal to CD, which is given to us. So therefore, half of AB will equal to be half of CD. So BE is equal to CG is our first equation, and BE is equal to CG is our second equation. From the equation one and two, BE GC is a parallelogram. Further, arc GEF is equal to half of arc BE GC. It will become third equation. Similarly. AB is equal to CD, which is also given to us, and half of AB is equal to half of CD because AB is equal to CD is already given to us. Moving further, our fourth equation will be AE is equal to DG. So AE parallel to DG will be our fifth equation. From these equation, we will get BEGC is a parallelogram. So therefore, GEH is equal to half of arc ADGE will be our sixth equation. Adding third and sixth equation, we will get arc EFGH is equal to half of arc ABCD, which we have to prove, and we have proved. Moving to a third question, which says P and Q are any two points lying on the side of DC and AD of a parallelogram ABCD. Show that arc APB is equal to arc CQC. So in triangle ABP and parallelogram ABCD lie on the same base, that is AB. So arc ABP is equal to half of arc ABCD will be our first equation. Similarly, triangle BQC and parallelogram ABCD lie on the same base that is AB between AD parallel to BC. Therefore, our equation will be arc of BQC is equal to half arc of ABCD. So arc APP is equal to arc BQC. Moving to a fourth question, which says in figure P is the point in the interior of a parallelogram ABCD. Show that arc APB plus arc PCD is equal to half of arc ABCD. So by passing through P and parallel to AB, draw a line MPN. Further, AB is parallel to MN by construction, and AM is parallel to BM by AD parallel to BC. So AB and M is a parallelogram. Further, arc APB is equal to half of arc AB and M. That will be a third equation. So they will be parallel to each other. So MDCN is a parallelogram. Therefore, arc PCD is equal to half of arc MDCN. Moving further, adding all the equations, we will get arc APP plus arc PCD is equal to half of arc ABCD. Next second part says arc APD plus arc PBC is equal to arc APB plus arc PCD. So again passing the P and parallel to AD, we have to draw QPR. So AD is parallel to QR by construction and AQ is parallel to DR by AB parallel to DC. So again applying the same method, we will get BCRQ is a parallelogram. Moving to our sixth and the last question, which says a farmer was having a field in the form of a parallelogram that is PQRS. This one, she took any point A on RS and joined it by the P point and Q point. In how many parts does the field is divided? What are the shapes of these parts? The farmer wants to sow wheat and pulses in a equal proportion of the field separately. How should she will do? 
So the answer is the field is divided into three parts that is triangle APS that is A, P, S and triangle APQ that is A, P, Q and triangle A, R, Q. The field is divided into this. Further triangle APQ that is this triangle APQ and parallelogram PQRS is lying on the same base. Therefore, arc APQ is equal to half of arc PQRS and the farmer will sow one crop on triangle APQ and the other crop on the remaining two triangles that is triangle APS and triangle ARQ. So this is all from this exercise guys. If you have any query or any doubt related to any of the question, please put your query in the comment section below. For regular updates and information, please subscribe to our channel Agla Same Schools. We wish you a safe life and do take care of yourself.